Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great Sunday morning with this cold weather. I will be doing children's moments this morning and we're talking about something really important, which is taking risks. And I'm gonna share a Bible story that is pretty well known. And that's about Peter walking on water. No, it sounds crazy, but just hear me out. So Jesus and his disciples one day were walking around town, performing miracles. Jesus was healing people who were sick. They were feeding people. They were just doing some really good work. And so at the end of the day, and Jesus was very tired and he told his disciples to get on the boat and he would meet them on the other side. And Jesus went up into the mountains to pray. And he was up there for quite a while. It wasn't until the early hours of the morning until he came down and was looking for his disciples and saw the boat in the distance. He also noticed that there was a big storm brewing and that there was thunder and lightning and the waves were really big and the boat was just swaying back and forth. And he thought maybe his disciples were a little scared. So he knew that he had to get to them really quickly to check on them. So he walked on the water. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't walk on water. I've tried a couple times and I have failed. So this is pretty miraculous that Jesus walks on the water to go check on his disciples. So as he's approaching the boat, his disciples see him in the distance, but they don't think that it's Jesus. They think it's a ghost because he's walking on water. It's stormy, it's dark, they can't see anything. And so they say, oh my goodness, there's a ghost. And Jesus hears them and he says, do not be afraid, it is I. And Peter says, Jesus, if that is truly you, tell me to come to you. And so Jesus says, okay, Peter, come to me, walk on the water. And so Peter steps out of the boat. He took a risk, trusted Jesus, and started walking on the water towards Jesus. But just then the storm got really bad and it started thundering and lightning even more. And Peter got scared and he got distracted and he lost sight of Jesus. And so he started sinking into the water. He started drowning and he got really scared and he started calling out for Jesus. Jesus, help me, help me, save me. And Jesus reached down and pulled Peter out of the water so that he was standing next to Jesus and walking on the water again. And he said, Peter, you have to trust me. You have to not lose sight of me. You have to always keep your eyes and your focus on me. And Peter said, I'm so sorry, Jesus, I will. <clears throat> so there's something that we can learn from this lesson about taking risks. So Peter stepped out of the boat, not knowing what was gonna happen, knowing that he had never walked on water before because who could walk on water? But he trusted God. And he trusted that Jesus would take care of him, and he did. So when we're feeling anxious about something, whether it's maybe jumping off a diving board into a really big swimming pool, or going to a friend's house, or making new friends, or um, being kind to somebody in school who's maybe um, bullied or, or on the outskirts, and helping somebody who's in need, when you're taking a risk, I think what we can learn is that if you talk to God, if you pray to God, and if you ask God for help and for guidance, he will be there for you and he will make sure that you're safe and that what you're doing is good and in his plans for you. So this is a really cool story. Jesus walks on water. Peter took a risk. Peter trusts Jesus and it turned out really well for him. So let's pray. God, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you that we could be in this space, whether we're at home, whether we're in church, wherever we are and whoever we're with, God, thank you that we can still learn about you, learn about your will for us, how you want us to live on this earth, and how to take risks in a safe way, and how to trust in you, pray to you, and know that you will always be there for us, no matter what is going on in our lives. Please be with us, keep us safe and healthy until we can all be together again. It's in your son's name I pray, amen. Thank you guys for joining me this morning and I will see you soon, bye.